Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Burst of Sunshine. It's Ashley, and today I'm going to show you how I'm making this farmhousey, rustic, country looking nightlight. In hindsight, there's some things I would change, but it's a super fun, easy project that I think you guys will enjoy, and I just wanted to show you how I do it. First, we're going to start off with a nightlight. I actually got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Now, you see the little blue on the inside of the package there? Yeah, yeah, that should have been my indication that this light glows blue, but I did not realize that. I, I looked right over it, and I got it thinking it's just a white or clear light. It is not. Keep that in mind when you're doing this. The light is going to be blue. That's one of the things I would have changed in hindsight. Anyways. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is of course take this out of the package and you can see the square here That's where our image is going to go So I'm just going to take a tape measure This big one was the only one I could find at the time And I'm just going to measure just how big my little screen place here is So I know how big I can make my graphic Now because I'm trying to do just a rustic farmhouse egg looking theme on this light, I'm just gonna use my Cricut. I'm just gonna upload this image, which I just found on Google, but it's just for personal use. I'm just gonna give this to my mom because it matches her kitchen style and aesthetic. Um, but you could totally make your own design yourself. This was just easy for me because this one was exactly what I was looking for and I happened to find it on Google, which made it easy. So I'm uploading it into the Cricut. I'm taking all of the background stuff off that does not need to be there. And then I'm just going to upload it as a cut file. I love how this looks. It's just so rustic. I, that's the only word I can think to describe it right now. It's just so cute. So I'm going to insert that onto my Cricut, um, what is this called? Design space, this project. Um, and I'm just gonna size it. You can make this however big you want it. You just definitely wanna make sure it fits good onto your little screen of your nightlight. And once you get it to the size you want it, I'm just going to cut it out on some regular black adhesive vinyl, whatever brand you prefer. I'm going to cut this out with the Cricut, of course. Once it's cut out, as you can see here, I'm just going to use this little pick. This, again, I've mentioned this before, is a little like toothpick that comes in a toothbrush set at the Dollar Tree. I love it. I'm going to use it to weed out my letters. Um, I did, of course, have a little trouble. I always seem to have trouble when it comes to these tiny little letters when it comes to weeding them out, but I just work at it slowly. It doesn't look slow because I have this going fast forwarded for time's sake, but um, I do this very slowly to carefully pick off each of the letters and make sure that they stay down. But as you, yeah, don't go as fast as it looks like I'm going because I definitely have this going in fast forward motion. I'm gonna pick out the little insides of the letters to finish off my design and now it is ready to be put onto the nightlight. So I'm going to take a little piece of transfer tape. I buy the big huge rolls of like the off brand off of Amazon and I really, really, really love them. I'm going to just take this and I'm going to place it onto my design. Next, I'm going to take a little scraper. I get this, I think at the Dollar Tree. I don't remember if this is a pan scraper or one made for Cricut, but either way, it does the job. A credit card would even work. And I'm just going to scrape this really good to make sure it adheres to my transfer tape. Now that I have my decal on my transfer tape, it's time to place it onto the nightlight. I mean, this is a super simple project. I contemplated on doing this farm fresh egg one, or if I wanted to just do a monogram. And this one won now in hindsight that I know that the light is blue. I probably would have done a monogram had I realized, but it's okay. So now I'm just going to take the backing off of my decal and I'm going to place it in the center of the little screen. I'm calling this a screen. I don't know what you'd call that. It's like a hard piece of plastic on this nightlight, I'm just gonna place it right onto it. Now I'm just going to use my same little scraper and I'm just going to scrape it down really good so that the vinyl adheres to the nightlight and then I'm going to very slowly and carefully peel off my transfer tape and set it aside. I reuse my transfer tape a lot, so I'm not throwing that away. Now that we have the decal on, you can totally quit here if that's all you wanna do, like especially if you're doing a monogram, that would be super cute just to leave like that. But to give it the rustic farmhousey look, I'm going to use white acrylic paint and just one of these brushes. It's just a random craft brush I had laying around. And I'm just going to paint this on the back side of this nightlight to give it that distressed look, which is kind of the look my mom has going on in her kitchen. So I'm just going to open up my paint. I'm going to make sure to do this on the back of the nightlight because you don't want to cover up the vinyl that you place on the front. And then you're just gonna have a big blob, a big white blob. 
So now I'm just going to dip my brush into my paint and I'm gonna very roughly just brush this onto the back. I'm kind of trying to just put it where the words are. I don't wanna cover the whole thing. I want it to kind of look like a rough paint streaky looking distressed look, if that makes sense. So I did try to make it look streaky and rustic and rough, like it was definitely handmade. I, that's, that's just the look I was going for. That's totally optional. If you just want this to be solid colored, you could totally just paint it some type of color and just keep painting layers until it's opaque. But this was the look I was going for, so that is what I did. Once you paint it, you could totally touch it up some if some of it's uneven or doesn't look good. That's kind of what I did. I went back in a couple times, touched it up, added a little more streaks, tried to make it look a little more even, but you don't have to. That's totally optional because the rustic look is what we're going for anyways. Once that's done, I'm going to let it dry completely and then it is ready to go and ready to plug in. That is it. That's all you have to do to make your own custom rustic country farmhousey inspired nightlight. I hope you guys like this. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe so you can see every time I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.